Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah Hakwadash, double honors to the apostles, a great millstone, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Israelites. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son, the savior and the redeemer of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So uh, this is just a uh, article, right? Uh, brother had posted it up in our group chat. Originally, uh, he posted up the um, article coming from the New York Post, but this is where the New York Post originally got the um, information from, which is Hawaii News Now. All right, so it says, FAA notified after large blue UFO seen above Oahu appeared to drop into ocean. Um, so this uh, was published December 31st, 2020 and updated yesterday, January 4th. It says an unidentified flying object spotted in the evening sky over Leeward, Ahua, prompted witnesses to call 911 on Tuesday. The sighting happened about 8.30 p.m. There are multiple videos of what appears to be a glowing oblong mass, both in the sky and in the water. Officials from the Federal Aviation Administration say there were no aircraft incidents or accidents in the area at that time. But multiple witnesses reported seeing a large blue object fall out of the sky and into the ocean. So uh, let's play this clip because the rest of the article is basically uh, the, the dialogue. Um, that this clip is going to uh, show. Wake up your breakfast. We're bringing that big bacon energy all day long, so you can always be baconating with a free breakfast baconator. Something is in the sky. What is that? And it's not just fireworks lighting up the sky in West Oahu. Perplexed residents on the Leeward Coast are searching for answers after a lit-up, unidentified flying object reportedly plunged into the ocean near Ulehava Beach Park. Though there are multiple videos of what appears to be a glowing oblong mass, both in the sky and in the water, Honolulu police notified aviation officials about the bizarre sighting. But as our Allison Blair reports, it remains a mystery. Officials from the Federal Aviation Administration say there were no aircraft incidents or accidents in this area Tuesday night, but multiple witnesses report seeing a large blue object fall out of the sky and into the ocean. Something is in the sky. What is that? This video was taken by Misitina Sape at 826 Tuesday night near Haleakala Avenue in Nanakuli. Not long after, a woman named Mariah spotted the same thing passing over Princess Kahanu Estates. I looked up, and then I was like, oh, I started calling my husband because it was all in the garage. I was like, hey, she look up there. She look the 38-year-old says she's never really been a believer in UFOs, but the bright blue object had them so intrigued, they jumped in the car and started following it. I don't know what it was. This one was going so fast. The journey ended less than three miles from where it began, on Farrington Highway in front of the Board of Water Supply building, after the object appeared to drop into the ocean. Hold up. Salaki. Oh, that's the spirit. It stopped at 144. Hey, call Lawyer Shy. Wow, that's crazy. Out in the water, whatever it is. She described it as being larger than a telephone pole and says she never heard it make any sound. We called 911 for have like for cop or somebody for come out and um come check them out. While officers were on scene, she says they spotted a second light. My husband would look up and he seen the white one coming. The white one was smaller, was coming in. They lost sight of the object after it passed over a nearby mountain. This morning, we asked Honolulu police if investigators figured out what fell in the water. A spokesperson told us they didn't have any information. 
Meanwhile, officials from the FAA said they received a report from police Tuesday night about a possible plane down in the area, but had no aircraft disappear off radars and no reports of overdue or missing aircraft. Got a freaking new F4 bar. Although Mariah's had a couple days to think about it, she says she's still baffled by what she saw. So they say, I don't know. If you guys can find out what it was, I'll let you know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now. Yeah, so, you know, there you have it, man. You know, these people, they had, um, you know, they they laugh and, you know, make light of it now. <laughs> but real soon, hey, people are not going to be uh, laughing when these um, UFOs become, um, uh, uh, come, to, come to do their job, man, which their job is, A, to deliver the elect, but also to uh, bring destruction upon this world, all right, upon the wicked. So this is the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 7. It says, Behold. He cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so, amen. You see? So Yahweh Shai, as it is written in the book of Acts, the same way that he went up is the same way that, that he's returning, and the way he went up was in a, a, a chariot of Israel, okay? And it tells you right here, when he returns, he come, he's coming with clouds, and clouds is... Uh, representative of the chariots all right uh what they what they call ufos which are operated you know uh by the angels okay the 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 host of heaven so it says all kindred shall of the earth shall well because of him so this woman she had a oh you know she like you said she said oh shit but because this particular chariot you know they it was doing uh, uh um uh wreck what's it called uh What's that, that military word called? Um, re re reconnaissance? Renaissance? Something like that. Basically, the chariot was just, you know, looking over, spotting, you know, you know, showing showing itself. It wasn't really in a uh, aggressive, you know, uh, a manner. She was, she was, she made light of it. But when the chariots of in Yahweh returned, you know, uh, uh, in, the, in the day of his, uh, in the day of the Lord, these chariots are going to be shooting <laughs> uh, concentrated fire out of out of uh, you know out of their uh, bodies, man. Okay, out of their uh, out of their um, um, vehicles. That's what's going to be happening when you can and you can read about that in the book of Second Edges, the thirteenth chapter. So let's get to something else because they said that the girl she um, said that it was a, a oblong uh, mass. You know, like a roll, and that's when you look at it, that's kind of what it looked like. So the scriptures are on point with the descriptions of the chariots, even though the chariots can, you know, do come in all different, you know, shapes, sizes, and colors, just like any any other flying vehicle. Okay, you know, the Lord has a uh, is very um he has he has variation. All right, all the chariots are not going to just look to be the same, you know, uh, uh, shape the same and in, in, in the same color. No. So it says, uh, Zechariah 5, verse, verse 1, and the title reads, it says, what, the flying scroll. And when you look at that uh, video, that's exactly what it looks like, man. A scroll, you know, a, a piece of, you know, uh, you know, paper rolled up into a scroll-like uh, um, shape, an uh, oblong uh, mass, as, as that uh, article said. It says, then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. Okay? And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, and and I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof, thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Then he said unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. And everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that swerveth shall be cut off as, as on that side according to it. For I, I will bring forth... I will bring it forth, saith Yahweh of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. And who is the, 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 the chief house of the thief? Babylon the Great, America. All right. Which uh, Hawaii is a part of Babylon the Great. So understanding that that these uh, chariots are also going to visit, you know, uh, uh, th these islands as well, man. All right. These islands that are, you know, uh, uh, is going to visit the whole earth. As I just said, this, this is the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. And 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 to the house of him that sweared falsely by my name, and and Babylon does that continuously, man. Even in their judicial system, you know, before you go on, you know, go uh, uh, on trial, go up, you know, to testify, 
you got to swear on the Bible. It says, and it shall remain in the midst of, the, of his house, and it shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. All right? And that fire and that brimstone. Okay, so as, as this um, showed in that clip, you know, that flying roll, you know, a.k.a. the, the, the chariots of the Most High, man, which Yahweh Shai, once again, and the angels are going to come during the uh, midst of World War III, you know, and, and, and actually, you know, come down and fight during this time, man. But as we've been seeing uh, in 2020, there was, you know, a record number of, of so-called UFO sightings, all right, you know, visuals of these things. And it's only going to intensify, you know, more and more as that day approaches. Okay, so let's get uh, one more scripture and we'll close it out. The book of Psalm chapter 68, uh, verse 17. It says, the chariots of the Most High are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. All right, so right there, man, the chariots of the Most High are twenty thousand. So, hey, the 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 hosts of heaven, the armies of heaven, is coming real deep, man. Okay, and these people, they're going to wail, they're going to mourn when they see the Lord and the angels coming. All right, in that war formation to uh to uh you know uh uh bring wrath and destruction upon this place, man. But unto the elect, all right, uh, that's our way of of uh, being delivered out of this place. And a lot of people, they're going to witness, you know, they're going to witness that as we just read, all eyes shall see him. So this is why, you know, we, uh, you know, we, we look up, we see our salvation. Okay. Those, those represent, those vehicles represent our salvation out of the destruction, out of Babylon, out of the hand of our, of our enemies, man. And a lot of people, they, they get, uh, you know, uh, baffled by it. Okay. They get, uh, you know, they don't have any real understanding on what they're seeing. But understand that soon enough it's going to be made very clear and evident what those um, vehicles all right, are, man. Uh, Psalms, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. That's talking about the elect, man. All right. The, the, the 144,000 and the one third. All right. Our labors, you know, that our labor of love, of teaching his truth. Okay, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, bringing out the, the edification, all right, you know, going out there on the highways and byways, making our bodies a living sacrifice, we're going to stand in great boldness in the, in the face of the ones who have afflicted us, whether it be our love, our family members, our friends, you know, people walking, people scoffing on the comment boards, scoffing, walking by, all right, hey, the Lord is going to make our, our, our boldness to be manifest in that day. It says, uh, when they shall see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. Yeah, because right now they can look up and, and be amazed and say, oh, my God, what is that? But <laughs> that's because they're not these chariots are just showing themselves. They're not actually coming in uh, uh, to do what their what their job is, uh, you know, during that day, man. All right. During the great day, the terrible day of the most high. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that in that day, she's going to be saying, oh, shit, as in, oh, shit, I'm about to die. Okay, it showed you that in, in the in the uh, War of the Worlds, so that movie, all right, with Tom Cruise. It says, "Then shall they be troubled with terrible fear, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation." Who's his? The righteous man, all right, the same one that is going to be saved out of Jacob's trouble. Those uh, elect from the foundation of the earth. It says, "So far beyond all that they looked for." Yeah, because these people are not. They're seeing these these chariots, and they're not looking at them. As being vehicles of of Israel, our chariots of Israel, they're not looking at them as being the way that that uh, righteous people are going to be de delivered out of the destruction that's going to hit Babylon. All right, they're looking at it as there's some little greeny little aliens, uh, uh, men in these things, man. But soon enough, you people, all right, the world is going to see exactly what these what they deem as UFOs. Okay, but you know these elites, they know exactly what it is. That's why they created a space force. That's why they got the underground bunkers. Okay, but you, you regular Babylonians, you regular regular peons of this world, you're going to be in with terrible, troubled with terrible fear, man. All right, you're going to be amazed at the fact that men that you deemed as being men and women as you deemed as being, you know, the 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 off scurring of the earth. All right, you know, nothing but a bunch of uh. uh Slaves, all right, and spicks and niggas and, and you know, <laughs> of that nature, all right, you're going to be amazed at the fact that they're getting beamed up 
and taken out of this place while you're seeing your destruction, you know, hit this place, man. So, you know, I ended there, Lord willing. This was edifying unto the elect. Call Lo Yahabashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakhakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.